Minister, over half of our domestic violence refuges around the country are full and local refuges are being forced to turn women and children away and many of those in turn have to travel to other parts of the country simply seek and safety. And this is at a time when the Gardaí tell us that they received over 60,000 calls in relation to domestic abuse. Last December, the Minister for Justice said 98 refuge units will be delivered by the end of 2025 in the priority areas. Westmead is deemed a priority area under your own government strategy. Esker House in Athlone last year provided emergency refuge accommodation to 28 women and 41 children, but received requests from 267 people. This is the only such facilities in the Midlands. There's no refuge in Longford. However, while plans to build a new purpose-built refuge centre are already on paper, there is a lack of a suitable site, and that is holding up the project, you, Minister. Debbie. Will you offer assistance to Esker House in sourcing a new site? And if no site can be identified, Minister, how does government intend to meet your own targets, and where will those no, women and children in desperate need of safety go to? Uh, uh, thanks, Gerlach, and thanks very much uh, to Deputy Clark for raising this important issue. My, my colleague, the Minister for Justice, is extraordinarily committed uh, to adopting a zero-tolerance approach to domestic sexual and gender-based violence. As you, you may know, as recently as last week, we saw the establishment of KUAN, the new uh, national agency to coordinate this effort. So I want to thank uh, the people undertaking the work in Esker House. I know the delivery of more refuge beds is a priority for the Minister, and specifically in relation to Esker House and Westmeath, I'll ask Minister McEntee uh, to revert to you directly.